Look at the front, where it says Ames real big. Somebody got a machete in here. Hill stickers though. Floor is gone. This is crazy. This is worse than yesterday. Oh my God. I can't believe I was able to just walk right in. Check that out. This is really neat. What's up? All right, guys. So right now I'm in a suburb of Youngstown, Ohio called Austin Town. And I'm at you know where. The K Lounge, as I'm going to start calling them, because there's so many of these that I have been filming and so many that are closed and abandoned now. Um, this is one I never made it to while it was open. It closed on January 28th, just like the Moon Township Kmart did. And I know a couple of my friends were shopping at this one frequently, and they got a lot of gems out of here, a lot of fixtures and a couple hand baskets and stuff. So that was really cool. Um, for some reason, this one is just really, really creepy looking the way it sits and uh, I, I can't wait to show you the garden shop sign it's just amazing so let's go check it out so there's the big Kmart sign love that they just painted over it all they did was paint over it It still lights up and you can still see it clear as day I could see it a mile up the road <laughs> actually so they didn't do a good job actually it doesn't even look like they paint it looks like they just put like white plastic wrap on it or like some kind of plastic adhesive and there's the other side there. Yeah, they just put like some kind of white adhesive wrap or something on it because you can see wrinkles in it. Didn't really mask it off at all. <laughs> and there's my poor old car sitting there with another blown wheel. Had to put the donut on again. And there is the storefront. Very creepy, in my opinion. This one just strikes me as creepy and it looks like all the lights are on inside so we'll get a better look at that in a second here this kmart sits next to a family farm and home store never heard of that store so i don't know anything about that but here it is very creepy indeed in my opinion now there's no point of checking doors because of it being attached to another store i would imagine that this one has alarms on and I mean look the power is still on too look here's a fixture sign all the lights are still on though inside which is awesome like my reflection <laughs> yeah just look at that I, I wish I could have made it into this store you know when they were open it looks like their fitting room back there now it's hard to see it because of the uh, glare. Ah, oh, good old sirens. Look at that. Do not enter. Maybe I will. I like how you can see more of what's behind me than you can inside, like the family dollar and the Arby's. <laughs> the reflection's pretty bad out here, the glare and all. Uh, why wouldn't I? Yeah, it's locked. What's that say? Ohio. Accepted here. I guess it's like their uh, WIC card or something, maybe. guessing the registers were over in this area here. I, like I said, I was never inside of it, so I don't know how the inside of it looked at all. But from what I can see... No, you know what? This might have been greeting cards here. Look at all the trash embedded in the floor where the gondola was. And it looks like... I know you can't really see it on the camera, but it looks like greeting cards. And they're so small, it had to have been greeting card aisles. Look at this lone pigeon right here. It's like he's keeping watch on the building. You know, the empty Kmart. 
How's it going up there? Oh, there's two of them actually. Look, there's one here too. I didn't even see that one. There's one there and there's one there. Just chilling at the K Lounge. <laughs> it's evident that this hasn't been painted in quite some time as the paint's peeling off of the roof above me here. Lights aren't on, but it is like 5.30, so it is still pretty bright out. The days are getting longer, and it's going to make it easier for me to do these videos after work on weekdays, because right now I've been limited to the weekends, so it's nice to finally be able to do one on a weeknight. It's Monday evening. Now here's the garden center up here. I don't know what we'll be able to see inside. A couple lights on. There's a camera out here too, so I don't know. Empty. But with the lights on. I guess there was a register right here since you got you got your phone jack and all the wires right here, I guess for the computer and the register. I guess those were the doors to go out into the actual garden center, the outdoor part. Wow, look at that. This one doesn't look that bad. You know how normally I consider these to look like uh, prison yards, you know. This one actually doesn't look that bad. Which is ironic since the rest of the store looks creepy as hell. <laughs> now isn't this cool? Yeah. I'm pretty sure this is original. I mean, it has the old style font from the 70s. And uh, I mean, the only thing different here now is that they had swapped out the uh, Kmart logo on the front of the building. But pretty sure this is uh, original. And if it's not, it's pretty damn close. Um, they had one at the Bell Vernon Kmart just like this. And I know for a fact that that was put up when the store was first opened. Uh, an employee that worked there for 40 years actually told me so. So, this is probably original as well. I don't know what it is, too, when I visit old stores like this, old Kmart's in particular, and like Ames and a couple other stores I've been to, but there's just something about the light fixtures in the parking lot, you know, like that one there. It just screams 80s and 90s, and I don't know why. It just adds to the aesthetics to me. <laughs> I, I don't know why, but I dig them. You know, I mean, you go to Walmart, you see they're all like bright LED. They're like new, state-of-the-art, whatever you want to call it, crapola. But something about these like old-school lights in the parking lots here at these Kmarts are just something else. <laughs> wow, we guys, look at all the running water back here. I'm wondering if this was auctioned off or something, because uh, I don't know if Kmart used this auto center in a while. And notice how the first garage door says interior detail, hand wash, plus tax, $7 most cars. And then there's something on that back one there. And there's a board over that garage door area down there, so we'll check that out in a minute. So let's see if we can see anything inside. Well, it's still got the Kmart theme. Yeah, they put, like, paint on the window, so it's going to be a little rough to see inside of here. There's a little slither. <laughs> wow. This was done on the inside. Because all that's on the inside of the windows. Look, you can see right into the store. So I don't know, I wonder if Kmart actually used this auto center up until the end or what, or if they leased it to somebody, I don't know. Because it's not typical to see that. And then they painted over the windows the way they did, and then people drew things on the other ones that I can't show you because they're inappropriate. But the rest in peace Kmart ones, that really gets me right in the feels. Yeah, just, this is ridiculous. Look at all this water back here. I know that you got melting snow up there, but you just have ponding water all over. Locked. You just have this ponding standing water all over. Look, look, in the water there, holiday blowout sign. 
But here's the doorway I told you they boarded up. Can't really see anything at all. Can't. I don't know. Holy crap. You know, as much as I hate winter, you know how badly I wish it was like really, really cold right now so this could all be frozen over and I could play some ice hockey back here. Holy cow. This entire parking lot back here is underwater. Everything is. Holy cow. At least it's not that deep. And I got my waterproof boots on, but still. Check this out. Emergency action plan. It's all wet. Wow, we. I mean, there is a lot of standing water back here. It has rained like crazy for like literally the last week. But this is insane. This water is about an inch deep. The water coming in from the uh, the hillside here. You can see it like draining. But I mean, oh my god, the entire thing is covered. And I walked through this area right here from the wall to over here. It's literally like two inches deep in some spots. And even with waterproof boots on, they're only waterproof up to a certain point before they don't work anymore. So I'm not going to walk through all of that because that's just ridiculous. Wow. All right, guys. Well, I've made the poor choice of walking through this anyway. My feet are still dry, thankfully. But I'm about you know 20 feet away from that dumpster over there because i see red signage in there red lettering something i bet you it's the kmart logo i don't know but i, I just want to check but i'm battling the elements i mean look at this there's a hubcap that's broken sitting there right in front of me completely submerged water's probably about three inches deep there even up along the wall here where i've been walking it's about two inches deep I'm standing on a little block right now, but wow, we, I mean, I know it's been raining like crazy, but there is no drainage back here whatsoever. This is insane. Well, I don't think getting to the dumpster is going to happen. That water is literally like five inches deep over there. I was just looking and you can't even see the ground underneath the water. It's that deep. I'm standing here by the compactor now. And I'm standing in about an inch and a half of water as uh, we speak. But I did want to show you something really cool. The compactor was for sale from Kmart. They wanted $1,500 for it. Guess it never sold. Yeah, that water is just really, really, really deep. You know what? I wonder if the comp... Or the dumpsters blocking a uh, drain makes me think it's possible a couple signs nothing interesting though there's a clearance sign there oh check these out some Kmart uh, paint mixers they're all grody though they're all saturated and grody that's one thing I won't take moldy and stuff no thanks and here's a whole roll of Kmart uh, clearance tags. Destroyed by the water. It's insane though. Like I said, it has been raining a crap ton, so it doesn't surprise me that we have some flooding. But wow, we the whole back of the property here is underwater. And I gotta walk through this again. <laughs> You know, after walking around the flooded back half of the uh, property here where the Kmart is at, I just came back around to the front here, and the lights are on. So that's cool. Obviously, they're on timers, but yeah, they put the lights on, and uh, it's not as creepy anymore. It still is, but not as creepy as it was, you know, about 10 minutes ago, <laughs> 15 minutes ago. Now you got three pigeons hanging out up there on the G. Them G unit birds. <laughs> I'm such an idiot. <laughs> uh, what are you going to do, though? There's the old pharmacy label scar, too. Pretty awesome stuff, but wow, we with that flooding.
All right, guys. Well, that's going to wrap it up for uh, this video here at the Austintown, Ohio K Lounge. And uh, I'm going to head home. I have a little bit of a drive, so walking back to the car. But, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, uh, give it a thumbs up. Sorry we couldn't check out the dumpster. That water was just way too deep and I don't I didn't even want to take my car through it because I got a donut on right now so I uh, hope you understand <laughs> um, but yeah anyway if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up and uh, till next time guys I'll talk to you later if you're not a subscriber subscribe I'm all out of order I'm getting cold because the sun's going down and the temperatures dropping so I'm gonna go on home and I will talk to you guys later. So take care and stay awesome. See you later.